he's I'll keep my oh your PR happy and yeah yeah, yeah he's um he's very demanding Gary yeah yeah I met him uh, last night yeah for the first time so okay are we recording yeah. oh we are recording yeah okay. <laughs> you can cut that part okay cool all right um well this is a rock radio UK podcast i'm dave cider baby and i'm with rubicon hi guys hey, hey how you doing introduce yourselves i'm jay sims i'm the singer i'm doug i'm the drummer background vocalist hi guys i know next to nothing about you apart from your pushy pr <laughs> 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 so um i believe you've been around for a while yes and you released a single what, august last year something like that yep yep yeah, august okay last year. so that's that's back to some of my knowledge so just please tell me from the beginning sure no where you um yeah so we started in boston mm -hmm. um 22 20, almost 23 years ago yeah and um and we've same guys no lineup changes um and we have just continued to do so um continue to play right uh, because i mean we love it it's it's the best thing we can think of doing you know is it what we do for our jobs no but we get to do it and we get to do it on a really high level and it's great and we have what five we've done five albums over the years and then yeah. we just put out the brand new single well, the one in august uh, called lose it all yeah and we've got a brand new record that's in the hopper and hopefully sees the light of day within the next six months Excellent. And, and probably a new single and probably a new single coming out in the follow. next two, two months, three yeah. months. We'll yeah. come off this tour and have an asset, something to release and share with people. Yeah, but because we started in Boston so, together so long ago, back then we were together every day. We rehearsed every day. We lived in, and existed in each other's lives. 22 years later, mm. two guys still in Boston. One guy lives in New York. One guy lives in California. I live in Nashville. Right. And so it, it, it making records is a bit slower. Mm. Um, and but it also I think helps with the quality of the stuff we're putting out. It yeah, simmers a little bit more, right? Right. Okay. Sure. So you all have an input into what's written, what's absolutely. Yeah, it's not just one yes. guy. No, 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 no. Yeah. We are a complete collaboration. We are an ensemble cast. Yeah. Um. His his opinions of what I sing are, are just as valid on on what I on what I think, and uh, you know. And I, I tell him how to play drums. He just follows my instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to tell me. Come on, Dave. <laughs> this is Dave, one of our guitar players. Hello. Hey, guys. Yeah. If you, if you might sit down and be in an yeah, interview sit down, as well. Yeah, sit down. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I was going to show him my dick, but he wisely told me not to. <laughs> Probably best not to. Yeah, sure. This is a family show. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> we do swear because we don't really care. So. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> It's modern family. I so you're Dave. You're I'm Dave. Yeah, I'm the guitarist. Yes. Hi. Um, one of the guitarists. One of the guitarists. Yeah. Yes. So you, you're on tour here with Buck, Ter Buck Cherry in the UK. Yeah. Uh, what's it been like? It's been a bit of a roller coaster in the last couple of weeks, I've heard. I've, it's been amazing, in my opinion. You know? Yeah. A uh, lot of fun. The, the, the band, The Treatment, that we're playing with as well, are just fucking wonderful guys. Yeah. So that's been great. Buck Cherry guys are amazing. They play with them a bunch in the US, and they're just super kind and always welcoming and yeah. fun to hang out with. Yeah. With touring too, you have to you have to roll with it. Mm. You, whatever comes, you know, whether it's a cancellation or whether it's, um, you know, dealing with not so great sound, you know. Yeah. Uh, in certain, it, it, we come from a school of, we used to live in a camper, a caravan, like touring the states, sleeping in truck stop parking lots, and and you know playing on bars with dirt floor playing in bars with dirt floors on monday nights just so we could you know make a tank of gas to get to the next show yeah. so having done that i think we're a little more tolerant of oh, yeah. when things go sideways yeah you know what i mean because yeah. they will so it's because they will and this mm -hmm. in, in, in this you know touring is not it's not an easy thing you know yeah but it's really fun <laughs> <laughs> so um i think you've only got a couple more dates left on this particular run we're at kk's in wolverhampton now yeah. i think yeah and we're in uh, milton Keynes tomorrow mm -hmm. i can't remember the name of the venue um uh, forgive me for that um and then we fly home and okay we we, we started here what, about two weeks ago in um in bristol and and uh just hit some amazing cities like yeah i love 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 the uk i've never been here before really i was I, that was going to be one of my questions this is like right. the first time so yeah yeah i mean some of the guys have been to the uk before but like I've never been at all. And then mm -hmm. secondly, it's lifelong dream just to, right. to leave the U S and go 
play music elsewhere. And we know a lot of musicians and uh, on, on different levels. And the one thing they always say is, you got to go, you got to go, you got to go to the UK, you got to mm-hmm. hit Europe. He's like rock and roll fans there. They get it. They're still, yeah. you know, because, you know, that, that kind of stuff is, it's waning in the US, but it's also waning because no one gives a shit to promote it. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah, we do have the same problems here. I mean, this venue is relatively new. I mean, it's obviously KK Daniel from sure. Judas Priest. Uh, he's, he's injected a lot of money of his own money oh, into I love this. Judas Priest. Oh, they are good. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, um, so this has given like a boost to this particular area. But I mean, where I'm from in the southwest, hardly anywhere you've got one or two small venues, and that's it because the audience just aren't there anymore. Sure, but but. It just means we have to travel further for our music, and that's great. I mean, yeah, I, I get to meet you guys as well, so uh, yeah, it's, it's all good. Yeah, man. So, um, for those who haven't been to a Buck Cherry uh, gig this last couple of weeks, describe yourselves, describe your music, describe your influences. Oh, man, this is such a fun one. Let's start here. Oh, you go. Keep, keep going. All right. Well, so I'm like the by far the metaliest guy in the band. Like, right. I pretty much only listen to progressive metal. Um, okay. Mostly U.S. bands like Intronaut and I don't know. There's a million other bands out there like yeah. um, Dillinger Escape Plan, Better Lovers, all sorts of shit like that. So that's where I come from. Having mm-hmm. said that, I love hip hop. Uh, I wore a Miles Davis shirt on stage last night. Like so, I listen to a bunch of shit, but I mostly metal. And I'll go that way, and then we'll bounce this way. Um, she's influences. It's too so many, too many to count. But I, it's a, it's I grew a layered up, sandwich. Yeah, uh, I grew up really in, in New York in the '80s, and I was obsessed with hip hop growing up. Okay, uh, as a drummer, is definitely where my pocket comes from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Have you managed to transfer that into the music as well? I mean, you have to ask these guys. Um, but I, I try to maintain a pocket, keep the keep the trains on time, and not to, not necessarily <laughs> deviate too much, um, which is a, a very hip hop. Uh, a very hip hop way of thinking uh, about um, beats and rhythm, mm-hmm. momentum in a song. Yeah. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I'd say definitely comes out. I think it mm-hmm. comes out, but for it, sure. Yeah, and then, having said that, you and I, for example, have gone to see Mastodon, one of America's great metal bands. Yeah. We, we've seen them together like 15 times. Oh, we see. Because them. that's just what we do. Mastodon, so Intronaut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They got a particular oh, group. guy, Josh. Uh, what are you, hey, hey, Josh? Hey, 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 hey. These are the guitar players. Morning. Josh, hey, what are your influences? Don't what are your Hello? influences when you on your guitar playing? What are your biggest influence? Uh, John Scudi. <laughs> John Scudi. And John Scudi. Yeah. 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 Cool. Right. Bye, night, night. Bye. Does he do that often? <laughs> just yeah, he'll, 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 he's probably hour. sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes to the gym, then takes a nap, and that's kind of his pre-show thing. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. What about you then, man? I, I I love I love everything. I love all kinds of music. But my first love is was heavy stuff. Like when I was you know twelve and thirteen years old. Yeah. I started listening to you know heavier music, but I mean I always listen to everything else as well. Mm-hmm. So like heavily influenced by Joe Cocker, by. Prince by, you know, Steven Tyler by, you know, Chino Marino from Deftones, you know, like mm. there's, it's too many to, to, it's too many to mention. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just, a, I'm a music guy through and through. Yeah. If, I, I don't care. A- Abba to, anth- to Anthrax, I don't care. You said the A word. <laughs> so you, been anthrax a is you can't hate Abba, bro. I, I can't. You can't no, no, I, can't, I was subjected to it as a kid by oh, my older sisters. Oh, oh, I, I'm still oh, receiving therapy. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, yeah. just don't mention Super Trooper. It's really. Guys, we got to cut that from the set. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so you've got a new single out now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. T- uh, tell me about that. Um, it's called Lose It All. Mm-hmm. Um, it's actually. Um, well, I mean, I don't know. What do I tell you about that? It's very personal. Mm-hmm. Um, but when we were doing the lyrics for it, it was really based in in the the struggle of like someone that wants to pursue, you know, a career that's really hard to get to. Yeah, like music. <clears throat> um, and the chorus just really leads into like. You know, you're kind of clawing at it, and you, and you, you almost get it, and then, and then you don't. Uh, so it's not entirely a, a positive message, <laughs> but 
but it's great therapy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can imagine. Um, so this is obviously a precursor to an album you're talking about. I mean, when is when are we looking? We got a ten song album, probably. I mean, everything's been tracked, right? So mm. everything's recorded. Just needs us to get together, which is the hard part because we live all over the United States. Yeah. Get together, get in a room, and work through the mixes together. Mm-hmm. Right. And for those of us who won't be there, but you know, the rest of the band will send us rough ideas and be like, "What do you think?" And you know, bring this. You know, can we add this guitar here or bring something up there? Um, but yeah, it's a very democratic process, right? Democracy is hard, right? So it's, it takes a while, but um, I think mm-hmm. you know, in the next three months, you can expect an album. Okay, uh, that'll be. Good. I'm, I'm sure you've created a few new fans by doing this tour, tour with Buck Cherry because, as you say, it's the first time it's in the UK. Yeah. So um, they're going to be looking forward. You know, they're obviously looking back on your older, older material, sure. and uh, it'll be good to have some fresh material out there for them to sink their teeth into. 100%. So hopefully, in a few months, maybe you'll be back again. Oh, oh God, that's the hope. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> love to. It's been really fun here. It's yeah. been, it's been yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, it's a, it's an ordeal, you know, to yeah. to come over here and, and it's completely worth it. Uh, yeah, you know, there's no question. But like, what we were, we were talking about this, you know, some snafus on this tour, yeah. like earlier, Glasgow, we we got canceled in Glasgow, mm. um, and so uh, the treatment who are just our bros forever now. Yeah, like we've just had the best time with them. Uh, they like made a couple calls they knew the area and we found ourselves in a basement venue that held 200 people yeah front to, we did a free show front to back you know it was a thousand degrees yeah, it was there. amazing yeah, and, it was uh, amazing in that room too yeah, we played and they played and it was it was just as good as if we had played you know the the thousands the thousand yeah. person that we were yeah. scheduled to do yep um so i mean you know yeah that's it okay yeah. Hopefully next time we come back, we have a new album. Yeah. People have heard it. There may be remembers. We have a new single around, coming you know? soon. New single. Yeah, that's true. New single yeah. coming soon. Album, hopefully, sooner well, after. I guess I'll best play it on the radio just to um, yeah. I mean, get people acclimatized. Do you want to? If I'll, sure. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm easily bribed. I've got to say. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, where's my wallet? Right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so what are you looking forward to now? What is your, like, goals? I mean, you've been doing this for, what, 22 years, you say? Mm-hmm. So what are your goals now are you just happy to say right we're producing albums we've got a core audience we love them to bits we're going to play to them every night when whenever we can or have you got something more in mind i think you just spelled it out yeah oh okay I yeah <laughs> no i mean i think our goal is to play music together yeah it makes and, us happy and and do that as much as we're able to you know uh i think that's the goal you know we're, we've been in this game too long to think that you know, the, the 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 pot of gold at the end of Rainbow exists because it doesn't. Yeah, right? never did. Mm. You know what I mean? But like, our pot of gold is that hopefully, ten years from now, you know, I'm still doing it. I'll get my walk. I'll pull my walker on mm-hmm. stage, and, and we'll, mm-hmm. we'll we'll continue to do it. <laughs> okay. So, anything right. you'd like to say to your new fan fans in the UK before we wind things up? We we freaking love you. We love you. Oh my gosh, it's never been so well received. The you know people are kind. Like it's just the greatest rock fans I think that we've ever played for. Sorry, USA. Oh, it's fine. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fair point. Step up, step America. up, stand, step your game up. Yeah. yeah. Anything you guys want to add? No, that sums it up. <laughs> that sums it up. We've uh, yeah, really cool. enjoyed our time here. It's been great. Okay, been guys. Wonderful. Rubicon, thank you very much for your time. I'm thank gonna let you get on because you've got a sound chat very soon. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks. Dave, thank you. That was awesome. That was great. I appreciate it. Great conversation.